Class is dismissed, boys and girls. <laughs> Previously on the YTV Retrospective. Hey everyone, sorry for the absence. I had to deal with an unexpected and unwelcomed house guest. <laughs> Thankfully I was able to get him going on his way. Now for today's subject, we're going to be taking a look at an animation studio from across the pond. In a lovely country called... France. Bonjour! You cheese-eating surrender monkeys! This is the tale of Marathon Animation. The company first began in February of 1990 as Marathon Media, helmed by Oliver Bremond and Pascal Breton, located in neuilly sur seine They would start creating shows that were live action, such as The Intrepids and Extreme Limite. But in 1992, they would create their first anime project with the Mozart Band, with Spanish animation studio BRB and Taiwanese-American animation studio Wang Film Productions. Their first foray with Canada may be a bit more familiar to you. In 1997, Marathon would release The Secret World of Santa Claus, about the adventures of Santa Claus and his team of elves, and a polar bear named Balbo, as they spread Christmas cheer to kids all around the world, while also stopping the evil Grizzlebeard and his troll named Dudley from ruining Christmas. Airing in Canada, on Teletoon, and in Germany, this series would become a Christmas tradition, running marathons up to Christmas Day. But you probably know which series really put Marathon on the map. In 2002, Marathon would create Totally Spies, the adventures of three teenage girls named Sam, Clover, and Alex, as they lead a double life as secret agents of the organization Whoop, led by Jerry, as they stop crime while making it to class on time. This show was a massive hit, having an initial run from 2002 to 2008, a movie in 2009, and a return in 2013, and wait, a seventh season in 2024? A lot worked in the show's favor, from the pseudo-anime style, the repetitive nature of the episodes, which helps for newcomers to jump in, and their somewhat relatability of their high school and university lives. In 2003, Marathon would create a new show with their pseudo-anime style they figured out for Totally Spies, and they took it a step further. This is Martin Mystery! This series follows the lives of Martin Mystery, played by Sam Vincent, who loves the strange and paranormal, while despite being a top agent, has a huge ego, and basically becomes Brock from Pokemon whenever he sees a girl. Oh, well, that works too. <laughs> I love to study. You do? <gasps> Thanks, but I don't think our study habits are... compatible. <sighs> Let me translate for those who are too slow to take a hint. She doesn't date dumb guys. Or pathetic ones either. His stepsister, Diana Lombard, played by Kelly Sheridan, is an overachiever with great intelligence, often at odds with Martin. Okay, so we've gathered up the naughtiest kids left in the town. Now tell me, what's your plan? We get them to behave badly and draw the monster right to them. That's your plan? Martin, that's the worst idea you've ever had! And their friend Java the Caveman, played by Dale Wilson. Glad. Depend on it. Who is the brute strength of the group, but also is disguised as the janitor of the school. Two people huh? are missing. Mmm, Java like food on stick. Java, no, don't eat the clues. Mm, that's quite a bite. As they lead a double life in a boarding school in Sherbrooke, Quebec, while also working for a secret organization called The Center, helmed by Mom, played by Terrell Rothery. Martin Mystery! It took three teams 20 years to find those scrolls, and it took you only 20 seconds to destroy them. Sorry? and her assistant, Billy, also played by Sam Vincent. Hi, Martin. Hi, Java. Hi, Billy. Uh, where's Diana? Looks like Miss Goody Two-Shoes is running late. Strange. She's usually a stickler for punctuality, not to mention every rule, regulation, and bylaw ever invented. Investigating paranormal happenings across the globe, from aliens 
to the boogeymen, to vampires, and even leprechauns. From the Herald Isle to your place in the hood, I'm the man of green come to do no good. Martin can access tools that can get him out of any situation using the U-Watch, including a slime sample scanner, bio scanner, energy blades, force fields, and many more. But does it tell time? I do like that before the intro starts, they would do a little title card as if it was a horror movie poster. In my opinion, I think the show really takes advantage of the anime style they figured out with Totally Spies and puts its own spin on it, especially with the monster designs and more focus on the action. Based on the Italian comic book series by Alfredo Castelli, this series ran for three seasons of 65 episodes. In the third season, Billy would also join the main cast, as he would get a human disguise to help with investigations. The series premiered on YTV in 2003 and on Frack with a French dub. Both would end its run in 2006, there was even a crossover with Totally Spies on their show in the Season 5 episode, Totally Mystery Much? As Clover, Sam, and Alex team up with Martin to track down Yeti sightings in Antarctica, even having some fun cameos with Mom and Jerry. Oh no! Girls, Martin, there's another, there's disturbance, another disturbance at the ski resort. Mom? Oh my! Jerry? I had no idea. I haven't seen you since the secret organization conference in Venice three years ago. <laughs> Was that Venice or Oslo? Ew! Hurry before they say something we'll never forget! In the US, it would air on the Saturday morning block, The Fox Box, in 2004, for a few weeks in the summer, before being replaced by an earlier showing of Winx Club. This is Martin. Just an ordinary kid like you. With an extraordinary secret. Agent Martin Mystery at your service. Meet the world's most paranormal investigator as he squares off against monsters, mutants, miscreants, prehistoric mysteries, and dating. What? Oh, was it something I said? Don't miss Martin Mystery, only in the Fox Box. It would eventually move to Nickelodeon and on Nicktoons for the remainder of its run. Sadly, there isn't a DVD release of the series in North America but two seasons are available through streaming on Amazon Prime and the streaming service Plex. Check this series out and be prepared to face the strange and the unknown. Marathon would air four shows on YTV, and Mark Mystery was just one of them. What will be next? Only time will tell. When we come back, we ask the question, what would you do if you hosted a radio station at your school? Next time on the YTV Retrospective. Doctors recommend that radio DJs should exercise their mouths. Warm up with a little high pitch. Blindfolded. And stretch your way into low pitch. <laughs> right into the talk and laugh. <laughs> now, repetition. Tanya, 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 Tanya. Yes, yes, yes. And cool down with outward expressions of joy. <laughs> Radioactive. Tonight at 8. Even we on YTV. Check this out. I'm the great Frieza you've probably heard so much about. We're aware that there's more of you around here, at least five of us. The more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> Go ahead, Spider. Make a move, please. So, Martin. What do you say we grab a devil mocha frappa whippuccino and Mally? Yeah, that sounds great and all, but I kind of have other plans. <laughs>